Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. And as you can see, we're back here with our Detrola 4-tube TRF set. We've stripped the cabinet. I told you in the last episode that we were going to start working on this. So we've stripped the cabinet, sanded it down. You've got to be very careful because this is very thin veneer on here. And we've given it a, an initial coat of um, walnut wood stain right here. And uh, this is just one coat. I need to do another sand and another another application. And I'm going to fill in these little um, routed areas here with some black paint. And then um, this will be good. I had to do some cabinet work though to reinforce it. And um, this cabinet was loose and falling apart. So what I had to do here was I had to apply some glue and hold all this together. I had to do the same thing on this side. And I also had to put some cleats in here um, to ensure that this bottom stays attached to the sides. And, um, and that's all been completed. It's rock solid now. And then um, last thing I need to do is up here, let's see if we could show you that. I'm missing a piece of veneer, so we're going to fix that up. But our initial um, piece of work that we're doing today is this, uh, this molding that goes around it. And here's the original piece here. We'll just come a little bit lower. And if you remember, this was missing the molding on one side. So this was on this side here. And we're missing the piece over here. So I took a look at my router bits to see if I had something that was even close, and I didn't. So, um, so we've decided to go a different direction. So I took a, a piece of uh, 1x6 pine and uh, looked through my router bits and found the bit that is the closest to what I want to do. And um, that's right here. This is what it's going to look like. So I've routed it off, I've cut it, I've mitered it, and uh, this is what we're going to mount around the cabinet, like so. And um, that's going to be just fine. It's a little bit bigger than this. You can see here it's got a very different profile, but um, it's okay. You know, this is going to be just fine, and it's going to serve the purpose. And we're going to spray this bottom piece with toner anyway. I'll give you a close-up look on it. You can see the detail there. It's kind of like a, a half turn uh, cove. Anybody want a bird? I was hoping for Christmas it would go, but it didn't. So uh, if anybody wants it, it's still available. So here's the, uh, here's the molding that we're going to use. And um, once that's done, I'll, I'll apply the second coat of uh, stain to the cabinet. And uh, when that's in good shape, then we're going to put some, uh, some lacquer on it. And, um, and that's going to be finished. And then we're going to reinstall the radio. Um, I still haven't created the um, quick disconnects here for the speaker. That's going to be the next thing I do before I mount it. And uh, what else do I have to do on this radio? Nothing else really. I just have to secure down this uh, dial lamp. Um, but the main thing here is we've got our, our molding all now milled correctly. And it's uh, mitered correctly. And it's going to look really nice when we get it around the radio. So let's go install it and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we've actually got our uh, frame all glued together. It's drying, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. But we've got the uh, we've got the b basic foundation, and the reason why I did it this way instead of individually attaching it is because on the bottom of the cabinet, which I'll show you in a second, there's a notch that it needs to slide into. So uh, we're going to let this set and dry, and I'll show you that notch on the cabinet. So let's uh, let's get that shot. Okay, what you're looking at here is the bottom of the cabinet, and you'll see right here, this is the notch I'm talking about. There's one here, and there's one on this side right here. So the way I've designed this thing is just going to slip right down into these little grooves, which is perfect. So um, I've you know sanded all this down, got it nice and smooth, and when that base sets, it's just going to slide right down, and then we'll attach it with some, um, some brads and a little bit of glue. So uh, that's really all we had to do here, so we're just going to wait for that... Uh, molding to set up and then we'll uh, we'll attach it and then we'll put an initial coat of stain on it which is going to be lighter because it's not uh, walnut like this um, but like I said we're going to use dark walnut toner on it so it's not going to make a difference anyway that's the update on the cabinet um, let me come back when I have uh, more to show you alright guys we have our molding all attached here as you probably saw in the shorts video so everything is glued, nailed <clears throat> I've actually put a first coat of walnut stain on it and it looks really good the way it is but it's blotchy it's a different kind of wood so how we're gonna combat that is we're gonna use this toner and we're gonna use mohawk extra dark walnut 
we're gonna let this dry because I just put a final a finished coat of uh, stain on it and um, we're gonna let that dry really well and then we're gonna mask off the rest of the radio cabinet and we're gonna apply toner here to the uh, to the new molding that we put and then I have another um, another can of a little bit lighter walnut which I'm gonna just make some accents around the around the bands when I'm done and uh, that's gonna be the next step so I think what I'll do is I'll end the video here when we come back in the next next video which will be the final video um, we'll have all this completed the cabinet will be done there'll be a coat of two coats of lacquer on it and it'll be in a finished condition but uh, this molding worked out really well I want you to see the detail again I used the standard router bit for this that I had and um, I think we've done it some justice so one other thing about this cabinet there's no such thing as any square corners on this thing so you would think that a 45 degree angle here would be good? Nope. Um, this cabinet tends to bow in a little bit. And that's not because it's warped. It's just the way it was built. It was built in 1932 and I'm sure it wasn't built with any precision. It was cranked out pretty much. I believe Detrola um, was cranking these things out. So uh, there was no quality really in this. But we've got some now. Last thing is I said I was going to put some black uh, in, you know, highlights in this lines here. I really can't because the lines aren't even cut well. It's just not deep enough. So if I tried to take a brush and, you know, draw in black here, it's going to look like crap. It didn't have it originally. It's not going to have it now. So uh, that's where we currently stand. We've got our molding installed, drying, and then we're going to put our toner on. And in the next video, you'll see what everything looks like put back together. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. That'll probably be after New Year's. So Happy New Year's to everybody. Stay safe. Um, don't drink and drive or don't drive because some people do drink. Whatever you do, stay safe. All right. Take care, guys.